Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Glitter to Go Day, or otherwise known as Becca. I have my cat on my lap currently, so if you can hear a little purry bean, then that's because she's here and she's happy. But yeah, um, today is going to be me using the Sunset Horizons palette, some new sheen liners that I got for Christmas. No, not for Christmas. Yeah, for Christmas. And testing out the Space Age Prophecy Highlighter from Kaleidos Co Makeup Cosmetics, whichever one it is. And yeah, spoiler alert, it's amazing. So if you want to see how I get on with it, then just keep watching. Alrighty then. I've got some new stuff, many new things. Um, one of them, some of them, is a new lighting and... Um, tripod holder thing so i'm kind of like so i'm kind of like trying to get used to this um because my setup's weird i have to like have my phone so that i can see the reflection of it in the camera in the mirror so that i can see that i'm in focus and what i'm doing and stuff so um because i don't have something to link up to a monitor or anything yet which is in progress but um currently i now have these little handle things that attach like a vice to my desk and i've got a ring light holding one and i've got one holding my phone on a tripod so that's freed up a lot of space for me because it, i used to have to like put my phone on like a box that i have like keepsakes in and then put it on top of two books and then put a tripod on top and then yeah it was just a nightmare and it took up so much space and then my ring light before went behind the mirror which also took up space so now i've got a lot more room which is nice and i feel like so i'm just wondering how the lighting is going to be like it's a bigger ring light so i'm just wondering you know it's just trial and error at the minute but yeah anyway i have already primed with my urban decay all nighter ultra glow face primer um done my brows as I always do and yeah I've also got new brushes to play with I have the Jessup brushes in my llama marker because I don't actually have a brush holder um, so I've got all of these to play with so I'm very excited and I'm also going to be playing with the new Space Age Prophecy Kaleidos highlight um, which is meant to be like rainbowy multi-chrome so that is extremely exciting so I'm going to be playing with that as well yeah at the moment where I'm like it took so long setting up and trying to find how I want things I don't really have like loads of time but I need to film like I'm thinking like filming like three videos today so <laughs> yeah um I haven't really thought of what I wanted to do makeup wise so I thought I would take inspiration from Steph Beswick makeup from Instagram and do this sort of colour scheme with my like kind of like sunset -y, with my Sunset Horizons Beauty Bay palette so we're gonna get into that and hope for the best. Alright anyway right I'm gonna I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna see where this goes it could end up being weird I've kind of decided against what I was doing Anyway, the inspo is from that person, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go in the same direction. Anyway, right, so I'm going to find a brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Moonlit, which is the less um, bright yellow. And I'm going to put that at the front here. I haven't done makeup oh that's the wrong shade i haven't done makeup since christmas day and it is currently the 9th of january because i've been in such a rut with my mental health i literally hated life for ages and i haven't been in the mood but i need to get out of that and get back into the swing of things so I'm actually feeling pretty good since I've set up, which is what I need to remember. When I feel bad is that once I've set up and I start doing makeup, I feel better because I love makeup. But it's just getting that, getting yourself like out of bed and um, getting yourself up and started is the hardest part of depression and mental health it's getting yourself up to do said thing because then once you've done it you feel better but like you don't remember how better it feels when you're in that first place to begin with but yeah anyway 
Then I'm going to go in with Reef. I'm just going to like clean that brush off on my pajamas. And I'm going to go in with Reef, which is the orange shade. And I'm going to sort of blend those together. Still absolutely love this palette. I'm gonna film, I think today I'm filming this video, which is the makeup video, as well as testing out the Space Age Prophecy highlighter from Kaleidos Makeup. And then I'm gonna film straight afterwards the, cause I've got the full set. Um, I bought myself the full set of the highlighters. So I'm gonna do a review and swatches on them afterwards. And then I think I might film my 2020 favorites and absolute hates like favourites and what's the opposite of favourites? Not favourites. I think I'm gonna, I was gonna go in with this pink called Flamingo next, but I feel like that might be too harsh. So I'm gonna blend a little bit out with the shade Sorbet, which is like an orangey red, just to, um, cause that is like quite a strong pink. So I think if I just put a little bit of that next to Reef, then it will help it blend into that pink a little bit just a bit there just a little bit i've literally used the same brush for all these colors but it's fine i'm a heathen whatever it's just kind of blending these really nicely together and it's not coming out like too harsh so if it ain't broke i don't fix it you know and then I'm going to go in with the shade Flamingo, which is that pink that I said. And I'm gonna start winging this out a bit. Oh, this is so pigmented, it's unreal. I'm gonna put, start putting that into a winged shape. You yeah, see, so even with that shade there, it's still quite harsh, so. I have to go back in and blend them in a bit better. Try and get these matching, which is always a struggle. That struggle will continue into 2021. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Hibiscus, which is that lovely purple there. This is going to be the outer wing. quite nice to start off the year as my first video for 2021 with something colourful and bright. Right, I'm just going to go back in with all of those colours again and make it look nicer or something. Or I could totally ruin it, we'll see. Right, I just went in with a clean brush and I like blended it all round just to make sure that it's all looking okay and I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. So I'm going to go in and cut my crease and I'm going to use my NYX <laughs> NYX. Um, NYX can't stop, won't stop concealer because it's pretty much white.
right, I wasn't gonna, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself but use like everything new I have ever in one look. So I'm gonna go in with the Sheen Epic Liner in Orchid and I'm gonna put that around there. Could be a mistake, but you just don't know. It's only makeup in it. So I'm gonna use my Primark Primer Water to wet it. And I got these tiny brushes the other day in the range. I think I'll start off with the end first. So we are going to go in with the shade Mirage, which is the nice yellow shimmer. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Burst. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Cocktail. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Stargazing, which is this one. Thinking the purple high vis barium highliner, highliner, eyeliner, focus, please. Focus because I don't know, that's where it might tie in. Meh, we'll see. Right, I'm gonna go off screen and do my face, otherwise this video will be forever. Um, and then I'll come back when we're about to do the very exciting Space Age Prophecy highlight. So, BRB. I just remembered I got something else from Kaleidos Cosmetics as well. I got the Charisma Contour Palette because I need more contact color, contour stuff. I love the packaging of this. Like, it's all like, I can't even explain it. So like you open it there and then like it's in there and in the box it tells you like what you're meant to do with it and where you're meant to place it and stuff. 
and then when you open it that's what it looks like apply the darkest shade quite I'm not going to use loads because I don't know how pigmented this is going to be and I'm just going to put that where I put my cream product This side is looking a lot better, so I don't know if there's just something going on with my skin this side. But this side looks a lot more smooth and blended. And this is like perfectly cool toned as well, which is exactly what I've been looking for because like I really want a cream cool toned contour as well as a base for the powder. But um, yeah, at the moment, that side, I don't know what went on. It's just lo not looking great, but this side looks a lot better. So I don't know. My face is deciding to be a douche. Yeah, I'd say first impressions, that's not too shabby. Um, this side's looking a lot nicer, this side than this side. It must just be my skin being weird this side. But um, yeah, from this side, very nice colour for my skin and yeah, it's very nice. So I shall play with that more and see how I get on with it. But first impressions, it's not too shabby. Alright, moving on. Okay, it is time for the Space Age Prophecy Highlighter. Full video on this will be out on Friday. This is just me testing the new one but um yeah so i'll keep this secret for now but this is the new kaleidos highlight and it says it is a multi-chrome champagne highlighter with a supernatural green and fuchsia shift destined for ultimate illumination this color shifting glaze is the chosen one the universe has been waiting for so Along with the box that you get with the, the Space Age Prophecy collection, you also get given a highlight brush from Kaleidos, um, the H2 Precision Highlight Brush. So, I'm trying to get this out of here. And it comes with a little net. And that is what it looks like. Kaleidos written on there um yeah so that is the outer packaging um it's got like I don't know mountains or something on it I don't know but yeah that's the outer packaging made of plastic and then this is the packaging for the actual highlight which is the same sort of packaging um, for all of them if you are familiar with Kaleidos um, this is my like I've seen Kaleidos highlights all the time and I've, they just look insane so I was like I'm just gonna buy them all at once especially when I saw this one so I just had to and then that is what it looks like you can kind of see the pink already I'm not sure if the green's coming through and then it feels so insane like that's two circle swipes like it's so smooth and creamy it almost feels like liquid Yeah, I can see the green, but I'm not sure if it's going to show up with these lights. So I'll take um, videos in different lights when I'm finished and try and get the full view of it. And I'll zoom in a little bit, so. Right, 
that is honestly blinding like to the point I'm gonna have to blend that out a bit because oh the green shift can you see the green shift This green into a peachy pink is honestly beautiful. That is one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever seen in my life. I am also going to put it on my brow bone. That is just insanely beautiful. I'm also going to put it in my inner corner. I cannot get enough of that. It is absolutely insane. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Alright, I'm going to go back in with the shade Hibiscus for the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the shade of Bikini, which is that light lilac, and I'm going to blend that out to kind of match that lilac waterline we used in the crease. that's pretty much it i'm gonna do some mascara find the lip and we're done Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Stupid squeaky chair. It's very colourful and sunsetty. It kind of turned out nothing like the picture that I used for inspiration. Let me find it. Yeah, I used this for inspiration and it kind of like, yeah, the, just the colours really. I kind of did my own thing with it. But yeah, I'm very happy with how it's turned out and the Space Age highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I've been trying to go around different parts of the house in different lighting, trying to get the best lighting to show the different colours. But um, 
as much as I try I can't really get the green to show that much you kind of have to put your head in like a really weird unattractive position to kind of get that that there but um it is there I assure you and it does look amazing in person like incredible in person it is so beautiful and it is such a lovely colour for um brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight on your eyes it is so so beautiful and yeah I just I mean if you are gonna buy because it does come from where does it come from somewhere in China I think I can't remember because I ordered it on the it didn't even take long to get here I think it took about two weeks to get here but um yeah it's incredible quality from just the one that I've tried um and obviously this is the new one which is why I thought I'd just test this out in this video um I was so excited to try it and it did not disappoint whatsoever it is so so amazing so creamy and it just looks so intense and that's what I love at the moment I'm loving like I love colorful highlighters I always try and match my highlighter to my eye look um so yeah very very happy and the sheen liner I used my cat's meowing to get in hang on come on then you're so needy come on look at this bean oh little shoulder monkey what are you doing say hello say hello cali bean what are you doing she hates being picked up and she always goes on my shoulder go on the desk the desk fine Anyway, she's such a little my baby. She my baby. You know? Come on then. My little love bug. She is literally the love of my life. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the sheen liners are literally beautiful. This is the first one I've tried. Um, I got the pastel eight pack. So all of the pastel ones. And yeah, because... I think they're UV as well, but I don't have a UV light, but, um, she's purring. Um, I can't concentrate now. You just always take up all of my attention, don't you? Yeah, um, this colour is beautiful. I can't concentrate. Callie, you're so cute. Anyway, yeah, the sheen liners are really nice, just from the one that I've used. Really easy to use. Um, I could have cleaned it up and made it neater if I wanted to. I just didn't. Um, but um, they haven't cracked. They look really nice. Um, literally just spray some primer water in there, get a brush and go ahead. You know, that's literally it. Um, and then, yes, the... Um, And the contour highlight from Kaleidos as well, that was actually really nice. I was a little bit like on the fence about it at first because it looked a bit patchy on this side. But then when I did the other side, it literally looks fine. It is a nice contour palette. Um, I would say currently, I don't really know any difference between that and my Essence one, which is like 10 times cheaper. So um, yeah, I'll just have to see how that goes. But yeah, I'm very happy with how my makeup's turned out today and I hope you enjoyed my first video from for 2021 and my little baby says hello, well goodbye and she's very happy, she's a very happy bean, yeah, yes. she's all purry on my lap so anyway um, thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed it and let me know if you've got any of the Kaleidos highlighters and what you think of them and um, yeah I also if you blah, blah, if you want then you can follow my other social media which is my Instagram my Facebook and my Twitter so if you could follow them then that would be great because it's just kind and yeah thank you so much for watching um i'll see you in the next video which will be the entire space age collection highlight collection from kaleidos the review and swatches so keep your eyes peeled for that it'll be out on friday and yeah so 
see you in the next one. Okay, bye.